So, uh, any any final comments or, or questions on, on this? No, no. Next year you took this away, but we want to give you this. Thank from you, everybody. Thank you. In, in, in due course, I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody uh, that signed it. Thank you. Uh, and uh, it's true. Uh, you. I think it's fair to say you won't find this kind of commentary anywhere else with all these <laughs> different elements from a monk who's been studying, you know, all this stuff. So I hope you, uh, hope you, en hope you enjoyed it. And I do want to, uh, we have, you know, so it's, it's 25 too, so uh, what I'd like to do, thanks to Maria also for bringing the, the bottle of chartreuse, uh, those who want, I mean, it's not even noon yet, but this is this is has a lot of the spices that are mentioned in the Song of Songs. I won't say which. That a lot of them that are in here are in the song. And how many of you have ever have never had this before? I have never had that. Oh, really? Well, then I even if even if you're even if you're not a, a, a great drinker, I'd, I'd uh, take a teensy sip, or if you even if you just want to smell it. Because it's very, very fragrant uh, and, and very powerful. So and that's why we have enough enough uh, glasses for everyone. Um, and it's uh, it's it's 110 proof. So <laughs> uh, so uh, 110 proof. Oh my word! 55 means 55 percent. 110 proof. Okay. <laughs> what do I know about everyone? Uh, <laughs> this you got to know the stuff. But uh, chartreuse, uh, the color is named after the liqueur. Chartreuse liqueur. It's, it's the color chartreuse is named after our color. And it's naturally colored. It's the only, <coughs> only liqueur that's naturally colored. Mm. Things like Benedictine and other stuff are, are colored with caramel, with, with colorants. Mm. But this is that naturally, which is also why it's so strong. It's the only, if it were a lower degree of alcohol, the, the color would not be stable. Mm. So that's it, that's that's why it's it has to be very delicately balanced, just like love should be. Mm -hmm. And Father knows all the nuances of every batch. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> well, this is a different. Uh, well, <laughs> that's that's uh, unsure. The, 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 we just we just celebrated the 250th anniversary of the green, according to calculation. But I, it was only sold locally for a long time in the elixir too. I think it's only been sold like co commercially and really internationally for the last 150 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, around the time of the the nineteen the, the turn of the the twentieth century around nineteen hundred, uh, there was a bottle on the Titanic. Uh, around the turn around nineteen hundred, it was very it was the most popular liqueur in the world. The Carthusians became very rich. Okay. That's why a few years later the Lord sent a landslide and destroyed the distillery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, it's very popular now among the bartenders. It's their drink of choice. Well, they go and order it. Well, it's true. This, this, this is now because the, 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 the sales in America have doubled in the last 10 years, I understand, because this really is becoming popular. It's very now. popular. And the color green was named. The chartreuse well, was named said, after yeah. this. Document. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I, uh, I always thought it was chartreuse. I've given, I've well, given, uh, I've given talks to, in bars and restaurants to the staff on. So, Father, will you pour? Well, no, I'm not going to pour for people. I'm, I'm just going to, each one should take what they want, if, that, if, so, if any. So, who's going to pour? Uh, a, a little you goes a long way. No, no, but, no, each, no, no, each person should take what, what he or yes. she wants. So, he's going to oh, pass okay. the bottle around. Well, uh, now, before, take we, a glass then. before we do that, I want to, we'll, we'll, we'll drink, but we'll listen at the same time. Now, I brought what I brought, I mentioned last time. Uh, <laughs> We have Palestrina, the Song of Songs. Mm -hmm. We have 29 selections of Palestrina on the Song of Songs, mm -hmm. which shows how powerful and important it was mm -hmm. in the 16th century. Uh, so uh, Palestrina is good. We'll, we'll play one of those, or a couple of those. Um, also, Cantique de Cantique dans les Mélodie d'Origine, this woman called, uh, she's a French Jew, Suzanne Haïk Ventura. Uh, I fr <laughs> Will you let people do it in themselves? Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, so she, she, uh, she's, a, she's a scholar of the Hebrew and she's also a musician. And back in the 70s already she was doing work uh, on uh, interpreting the signs, the, 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 the interpreting the uh, markings in the Hebrew Bible. There are vowels in the Hebrew, but there are also little marks which seem to be that what they use for, si uh, they're, they're for the cantors, for singing them. So she set to music, uh, the music uh, the instruments of the time, and she also, uh, the actual 
melodies. So here is her version of the Song of Songs as it would have been sung by it with real instrumentation in those in those days. Uh, which would you rather hear first? We'll play both. Palestrina, why don't we start with that? Uh, no, I'm not going to do it at all. All right, why don't we do, why don't we do uh, uh, number, see, it's number nine. And, uh, 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 three chants. Really? <laughs> it's the uh, it's the beginning of chapter two. The voice of my beloved, and then arise, my beloved. Did you ever have it before? Yeah. Sure. Well, I hadn't. Did you take a drink? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. 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 I have it. I'm not yet. I've never had it before. Did you taste it? I have Just it. a little drop. Diego. Me neither. Yeah? It's delicious. Is it good? Yes. Very Make sure you smell it before you drink it. Oh. This is for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta get some for Not at all. Oh. <laughs> well, there are a few of the same herbs in there, but this is much more complicated. It's 130 sure. herbs. You got it. How is this batch one? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. So, ready? So, so this is track nine? Yeah. All right. So, so this is, it begins with Vox Delecti May, the voice of my beloved, the beginning of chapter two. Mm. Yeah. What do you think, Constance? He's bounding over the hills. <laughs> I don't know. Cambridge singers. Oh. Palestrina. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Good cares. Cheers. Frost. All the mountains of spices. Let's tie them up and get the cigarettes. This is good. Good batch. Good batch. Where did you get this? Oh, that's good. Michael, somebody told me to go to Michael's. Where's Michael's? Places and they didn't even know it existed. Mm -hmm. I thought it was under the six. Under six and seven. Martin Brothers? Martin Yeah. That's where we get ours. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know why Dave Bernard's carrying cast. Thank you. No problem. My name is Daniel. Oh, Daniel. She calls me Diego. <laughs> <laughs> also, I have some hot chocolate, but that's good. Just good hot chocolate. I used to make Charles Schrecher's ice cream. Mm. Oh. I know they always put liquor in ice cream. Right? Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Just the bottle? It's gluten-free and wheat-free. Salt-free and everything free. Taste-free? Way to start a Saturday. Yeah, it's really yeah, nice. it was. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the show. Yeah. 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 This one too.
awesome. <laughs> wow, I really had to twist your arm there. Well, the thing is, he's saying it's such a much better batch. Just a drop. That's good. Rise, my beloved. This is the last song. <laughs> is this different from what you tasted? Is this different from what we It's the same one, right? Same one. The same one from what you yeah. brought. But the batch was different. Oh, is it right? Not as good as the one from the store. What do you think of that? I'm recording this actually. Why not? <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy Three Kings Day! Happy Epiphany! That's what we celebrate! Happy St. John's Day! Yes, Happy St. John's! Beloved! This is delicious! It is so good! It actually is very nice to go with the music! It is! Now, is this going to stop at the end of the track? No! So actually, Danny, I'm using this color right now. I'm using three colors. I use black, white, and this color. Ah, like a buttercream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's like a little bit of champagne, but a, you know, yeah. I noticed there were other blends in there that you right. might not be able to use, or other well, leaves, yeah, but right. they're a great resource just to have. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I guess. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I have a question about this song. The way the text is so fragmented in places, particularly in certain places. So, I think that in 400 BC, it wasn't nice. fragmented. I mean, I'm trying to understand how did they... Well, this is the text we all have from the beginning. But, but surely when it was originally um, spoken, yeah. it would, I mean, would it always have been so fragmented? It's yeah, this is the only version we have. I mean, if That's there were, if there were, if yeah, there were no problem. different poets, some think yeah. there were different poems that were brought together, and right. maybe we could have find, found those separately if, that, if that's what happened. Right. But, it, but if it was composed by a single author, which is still possible, right. uh, it, this would have been the only version that we would have had. Um, but so, see, so, so I'm trying to just understand. So if it was, it doesn't have it doesn't have a logical progression. No, the, the narrative yeah. doesn't. Yeah, that's right. But um, in some cases, the sense is actually quite hard to even catch. Oh yeah, right? it is. So you mean, so one should consider that back in this when it was being written, yeah, they almost were like sort of throwing it. They throw out this these different yeah, words. Yeah, I, I think so. It seems to the be. audience to reconnect yeah, it seems to their to own be. satisfaction. Yeah, it seems. To okay. be. Now uh, we can just gonna put this on, you know. You can play it as long as we want. to gonna start with you know, the, the beginning. It's it's actually the actually the whole it's actually the whole song of songs on here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll just listen to as much time as we have. But uh, and you'll get a sense of you know what what it sounds like. You know mm -hmm. what what the Hebrew sounds like, and what her work you know in interpreting the the, the uh, markings and the music, what that is given. And she's uh, I think she's fantastic. What's what is this? Again? Suzanne Hayek Van Tura. And she, uh, I, I played this for my family when they came to visit me in the monastery in the 1970s. Mm -hmm. Not this, but a, a, a song that she did. So if you would get one, would you suggest that?
dark. The dark but beautiful. Like me. <laughs> I like her. people's reflections if anyone yeah, that's a good idea jump in. Okay. Yeah, so in the book of Revelation and right. take care so does anybody have any thoughts from, from what we've, just uh, reflections on what we've learned and like how yes. it has impacted you and your. Do you? Oh, okay. the, the well, I don't at the moment that I can articulate, but I just would love to hear what the, other the people. The conferences, you mean? What's that? Yeah. Well, and also, what what do you, what are you taking away from this experience? Or whatever you want to share. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very struck by the uh, these radically different interpretations between mm. the uh, Latin, the way it gets from the Hebrew to the Greek and then to the Latin and then in the Latin a whole as from what I haven't read the, the I didn't particularly look at the Vulgate translations but I'm all sorts of sh shocked but intrigued about the sort of overlays yeah. that have been superimposed by those translators mm. and um, uh, so that's why it's so incredibly helpful to that you come back to the Hebrew yeah. For, for me, I think it's a very powerful way of describing your own personal relationship with God. Mm, yeah. You know, and even just talking about like once you really like committed yourself, it's like the exclusivity, the faithfulness. It, it gets very strong. Mm. Well, the, the delight of it. As yeah, well. it depicts very well. Yeah, and then of course it's also the, the push and pull thing. You know, that that whole kind of the. It's a romance, you know, and also, yeah, and the whole yes. outreach, so it, both physically, spiritually, psychologically, emotionally, it's all like this. And I think Father speaks so well about the, um, the union of things, you know, the opposites, and once you get into this relationship with God, you get to explore all their different selves, and then you're trying to find this unification of the opposites, and the unis mundis, sort of, mm. yeah, that's the thing. It's always this whole dance of integration mm. to become your true self. <laughs> mm. yeah. So Diego, thank you, Father. You it's very pretty. Very what beautiful. do you think? I'm the Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valleys. I think for me, it, it, one of the one of the takeaways is just it gave me a new concept of what the uh, the body of the church can be. The potential of the church to be this thing to have this exchange with and for it to be truly nurturing because when I think about church I kind of think about the church of when I was a kid and it was fairly boring and uh, it left me fairly you know just wanting but I think there can be this this new relationship 
and that really is profoundly, you know, in, I don't know, it impacts me. And I also just think about relationship with God, and like you were saying, I loved how you said it, the dance with God, and the sort of sensuous, sensual uh, relationship that, that really moves me to, to think that it can be that that um, deep and that profound if I, if I give it the time um, and the study and uh, the dedication to that. I love that idea to be so intimate with, with Christ or with Buddha or with the great whatever. Yeah, it's powerful. Like, I think the whole thing was very beautiful and I don't think without your help I would interpret mm-hmm. the whole thing because I read it and it certainly didn't mean that much to me, although I like the way it sounded. Yeah. And this just brought on a whole new meaning. And I really enjoyed it. For me too. I think of the beauty just beyond words. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the same thing. Thank you, Father. It's beautiful. I'm yes, glad you brought yeah. it up because I would not even explore it. I could not dare explore well, it. Well, you know, I just, I just repeat, you know, you, as you see from the chants, you know, Middle Ages, from the liturgy, the Gregorian yeah. chant, you know, this was a hugely important document in the mystics and the fathers of the church. Yeah. And we just never talk about it anymore. But it also um, emphasizes how spiritual just everything about us is. Yes. Yeah. Every, I love that. Everything about sex is spiritual. Oh, everything about yeah, nature is spiritual. Yeah. And sexual. Yeah. God. Yeah. And, and from all that sexual repression of the church fathers, and, and they were so frightened of sex. That just just to see it so beautiful here is is, is such a spiritual experience. Yeah, well, that's very that's very healing in itself. Yes. The healing of sex and sexuality yes. in itself, so and then to see it's in the cosmic mystical connection. Yeah. It is all connected. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I really would like to to be able to understand better why the values of the church were so anti-women and anti-sex. And I think so does the church. That's right. right. Yeah, you you christened me Diego, and it's sort of caught on in the room. (laughs) (laughs) So is this your name translated in? uh, No, not. I don't think Diego means Daniel, but I like it. Diego. It's like so boring. Diego means Daniel, which is my dad's name. My mom almost named me John Carlo, which sounds a little bit closer to Diego, but <laughs> you know, that's Italian. Okay, <laughs> it's flat to my ear. It does. So now you will forever be Diego. Uh, Diego. To Diego. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Part of the culture of the time, you know, the religious and the secular culture of the patriarchy, is also against the interpretation of the Garden of Eden and the Eve blaming Eve. Also, in general, the Platonism and the Neoplatonism of the times. And, you know, all the fathers, Eastern and Western fathers, who were largely Platonists. And then they spiritualize it. They only spiritualize it. And they say, don't, better, don't interpret this literally, otherwise. You're yeah. Did you just go for your run? Yeah, I'm going for well, you know. this one. Ah, right, right, right. <laughs> and how long did you go I have... Uh, probably an hour. An hour? Yeah. So, how many, like, three miles? Um, I'll be in the gym, so... Ah, uh, okay. Got it. Yeah, okay. I just stayed in. This is what's on now, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, I was going to say that I... Uh, I, I think that the the work that Father has done on this dissertation is uh, very enlightening <laughs> and you know, makes a lot that of looks so good. But I myself have a little bit of a hard time applying all of the mystical it's things more, um, and, and church because to me it's like super important. You know, you know, like, oh, for me, it's yeah. amazing. It's so yeah. smooth. It's, yeah. 
it's, it's really it's more to it just scary. It reminds us sometimes of the medical Chinese. It does feel herbal. Well, that's very true. And actually, it's like a that's so actually once like someone gave me a soul, like I'm not free, so I'm like a. It requires a lot of spiritual work to integrate those levels and to reach maturity that way. What one thing that really got to me is the the dance is in the canticles. I love these little tiny sniffers. Yes, coming together and then maybe the union and then the grief of loss. Because I experienced that a lot in. Even in my own prayers. The grief of love or loss? Loss, loss. You know, mm. like sometimes you feel like Absolutely. really, loss. you know, like you're united, and other times it's like, <laughs> where? Where is it? You know? Right. Like it's gone. Yeah. And how does that make you feel? That makes you <laughs> Well, very full of grief. Mm. A sense of loss. Very deep loss. Mm. And, and I think that's in the canticles. Mm. Every feeling has to be the opposite, the joy and sorrow, if you can feel, they're always connected. It becomes more constant, more stabilized, as the Carmelites point out, as you go on. Mira, Diego, dame un poquito más. Si. How was that? Did I do I that okay? More. <laughs> <laughs> I might be fluent in Spanish <laughs> after this yeah. little session, or at least I can fake it. <laughs> Fake it until you make it. Fake it until I make it. I don't know, but it's not. Too much? Too much? I don't know. You're going to have to have someone drive you home. That is a startup mantra. Fake it until you make it. Yes, exactly. A nice business card and a big smile. And a good handshake. That's nice. Yes. Yes. No, thank you. No, thanks. No, thanks. Whoever was sitting there, she likes them. But I don't know, just going back. Katrina. You know, I think this might be a new holiday tradition for me. Um, I kind of like it. Yeah, I think it's delicious. Is this, one, is this actually one ten? <laughs> uh, I think it's fifty five. Fifty five. This is Father. Yeah, but I think yeah. somehow There's that translates. One. I think that translated into a hundred. I'm not quite sure. Father, what was it about fifty five percent versus one hundred ten? Fifty five percent alcohol, one hundred ten proof. Ah, okay. But Father, the elixir, the elixir is. 142 proof. 140. There's the, the real, the, the number one, the first one, right? That's the first one, right? The original. Wow. It's 140. Bye. 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 It's very nice to meet you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's not to well, live like a crystal and discover it here. No, no, it's not crystal. It's not crystal. Something didn't work. It's sweet. It was to yes, there's a lot of sugar in there. Yes. Wow. Because I'm developing Otherwise, it'd be very bitter. Yeah. But exactly how but much sugar? Yes. I turn my head a certain way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Almost. Got it. Oh. But that's part of the alcohol. No, it's not. If the uh, idol will be there. Like 130. 130? What's 130? Oh, the arrows. Yeah. It has but so far, the alcohol, alcohol comes from the sugar. No, no, not at all. Not the same if you. But the alcohol is bought and then it's used to distill the liquor, distill the plant, and then you buy liquid sugar syrup. A oh, syrup, okay. Cane syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite simple syrup. <laughs> Who brought the uh, little glasses? Are these? I think they're star These are beautiful. <coughs> Because I love five to five spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Ah, <laughs> you know? I'm sorry. And clothes. 
Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, and what she does with songs, she has a more, more musical accompaniment. Oh, yeah, there. there's a way they can. So they can if, you're interested in that. if you have a bad episode of it, they can keep making you dizzy. And then it's supposed to make it play. This was a very fast four weeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> you write a lot of stuff. You take a lot of Father, you know the past. Right? Right? Actually, yeah. it's good for wedding, right? Nice right? Nice. Oh, but I don't write it down. It's one in one ear. Yeah, but so what? See, well, one thing I found out from, I mean, <laughs> the years of life and yeah. yeah. studying and what, what have you, okay. is that. You know, there's a cartoon you know, series called I mean, Diego. Diego. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, I'm serious. Why is she calling you Diego? Just into this persona. <laughs> why, why is she calling you Diego? I don't know. I maybe she misheard my name. Oh, okay. I'm not she sure. just sure. calls you Diego. So I, I almost think of being Danny translated name in Spanish as Diego, but I wasn't thinking that. Father said it. I think uh, Diego means James. James. Oh, so now I'm very. No. No. Cool. Point, I, I like it. It's <laughs> okay. Well, you're yeah. welcome to stay all afternoon and finish yeah. the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Have a good run. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, remember, uh, as I just told her, we'll uh, I'll climb into the book of Revelation in, in Lent. It will be seven weeks. Take care. When will that be? Lent. 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 Oh, Lent. I will be in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Is that where you grew up? Yes, that's my country. Yes. That's where I was born and raised, and I have a home there. Nice. And yeah. Puerto Rico. And I go to the cathedral there. Bishop is my friend and he's a holy man and I just can't live without what we mm. mm. And I live in the old city. I live in this beautiful old city and beautiful old city. Right. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, this is a city. Look at the Yes. I will drink to that. Yeah. To Puerto Rico. <laughs> Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Thank you, Maria. Thank you very much. You're welcome, but it's just really everybody. The community thing. Oh, that was the way it's become embedded into uh, the, the, the uh, pieces of the liturgy and it's chanted by the monks, and, and it's kind of intriguing. It's not a totally logical progression. It's almost like this is something that's almost serendipitous. Well, or should one say it's it's the Holy Spirit? Well, yeah. Why don't you say it's mystical in the sense that people meditated deeply on this, and then then, then the uh, the experience of God came from that, and then the liturgy came from that. So in other words, it's, you're living the mystery, by, you're living the text, you're yeah. meditating on it, and experiencing what it's pointing to, yeah. and that's what gave rise to the uh, to the liturgy. And then in turn, the liturgy nourishes the, uh, the experience. And the Holy Spirit's at work in all of that, of course. Yeah. Mm. Spirit seems to be at work in so it, it's not as if you say, "Oh, look at this text. That we should make. We should make some recording chant out of this." No, I mean, yeah. it starts with the experience, of and then it resonates. Some pieces resonate particularly. Yeah. Then I think the Holy Spirit 
gives rise to those things. Like, yes. if I'm in that spot, then I have to. Mm-hmm. Corn just again. Okay, <laughs> to resume. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to get good. Let's talk about theology. Just, just not too long ago. Making history. Uh, you know, I remember I, I went to my parish priest in Old San Juan, and I said to him, I don't know who the whole spirit is. And he was like, shocked. You know, he said to me, oh, well, God is free. I said, no, I don't know what, what that is. But lately, it's like the Holy Spirit is speaking to me, mm. and it's wonderful. He was all the place, right? <laughs> no, I think it's very exotic and very creative, and he says flames of fire. Flames of fire. Mm. And, you know, and I think that he gives you the creativity and, and, and the wisdom, and I have become very devoted to the whole... We used to call him the Holy Ghost when I was a kid. Yeah. Now it's the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Santo. Well, you read, you went, she read the whole of the works of St. Teresa of Abba, of Jesus, and so in Spanish. So. Well, you know, also I was raised, I, I, I read St. John of the Cross in the commentaries when I was a child. That's how we were raised. You know? but, but anyway. It's a child. <laughs> when I was 12 years old, I read John of the Cross. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> Pretty intense, <laughs> intense childhood. But anyways, yeah. But but I think the Holy Spirit is really cool. I agree. <laughs> Very warm. I agree. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. No, you're fine. <laughs> no, well, no, no, no. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you Father. <laughs> Everyone have a lovely, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes. Happy New Year.